what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk guys I've done or performed several videos about Mike Tyson and Robin Givens and those videos tend to do very well on this channel. And I believe the reason why is we all, number one, we all love Mike Tyson. Two, we all think that Robin Givens is a gold digger and we don't like her so much, which is, which is easy to understand. Being that Robin Givens life is probably now terrible and Mike Tyson still on the up and up. But Robin Givens cannot stop talking about Mike Tyson, mind you, She's the one that sent attorneys to cease and desist him from speaking about her on the podcast that, you know, they should stop defaming her and, you know, doing all of these things. Now she's still talking about the guy. Even he wished her well, right? Mike Tyson doesn't give a damn about Robin Givens. But despite that, she says that she felt a drop in the pit of the stomach over Jamie Foxx's Mike Tyson movie. And she said this, dating music. I felt this drop in the pit of my stomach and was like, oh no, here we go again. I felt like the world was crumbling again. And I find that to be very, very interesting because number one, Mike Tyson has admitted that he was an abusive man, all right? That he was a man that made some mistakes. And for that, I must commend him because you know what? Violence against women is terrible. I'm a guy that is now my in my life. I, I understand the value more so than I ever have before that women should be protected, especially living here on the continent of Africa where women don't have as much protection. So I have a, a, a much more deeper understanding of, of that. But when you're Robin Givens, and I'm not saying that she does not deserve protection, but we have to talk about this. If your world is crumbling again, Robin Givens, it has nothing to do with Mike Tyson. You've been compensated. You've gotten millions of dollars. And you might say that, you know, that abuse still bothers you to this day. But the, the real case of this is that the reason why your life is crumbling since 1989, when you divorced Mike Tyson has nothing to do with him. All right. You've had 31 years to get it together and still you haven't. So, and I want to talk about this. When he said he met her, right? He said he found her when she was broke and no talented that she was a broke charlatan. Guess what? <laughs> if you compare their lives, uh, it seems like some things don't, doesn't change. And the problem is this Robin Givens has been unsuccessful in almost everything that she's done. She married a white guy, that failed. Sivistazar Marikanovich, you got what Murphy Jensen, that failed. You've been crumbling your own world yourself. And the one thing that I hate to see is for, you know, when a black man moves on with his life, you know, this some woman is always uh, blaming him for a while they're not successful. And I'm not saying this happens all the time, but I know quite a few cases like this. You know, you and the guy break up, he made some mistakes in the relationship. You made some mistakes, but the problem is he goes out and lives a great life after you. It's like a story of almost every chick's life, right? It's, it's, it's amazing. Every time some woman who blames you for a problem, you leave her alone, you wish her well. You might have some feelings about how you feel about her, but that's just it. You don't call her, you don't talk to her. You go and live your life. What happens with her? She can't maintain relationships. She can't maintain friendships. She can't move up anywhere corporate. She can't do anything business-wise, entrepreneurship-wise. You left her where you found her. And a lot of times people in the, you know, especially in the black female community, they, they don't want to look at like, well, you know, the problem is me. I have crumbled my own situations. And also a charlatan, which, you know, could be called a, uh, in many words, a con artist, a sham, a fraud, a fake, an imposter. You know, Robin Givens is 
is that to a certain degree because she said that she dropped out of Harvard Medical School to focus on her acting career, although she was a pre-med at St. Lawrence College. And do you know what Harvard University Medical School said? Uh, we've never had Robin Givens in our school. <laughs> it doesn't exist. So what that means is she is known for what? For lying, okay? For lying, for not telling the truth. So now you wanna go out and then you wanna get the, the attorneys for like, you know what? Hey, let, let's stop the guy for telling the truth about me. And the reason why it, it, you, it, it feels a pit of your stomach because you're not there to be honored anymore. Robin Gibbons has fell off. If Robin Gibbons is not talking about Mike Tyson, nobody cares about Robin Gibbons. Because Robin Gibbons was Robin Mike Tyson. After you got that 10 million from Tyson, Robin Gibbons, what'd you do with it? Go. So you know what? Let, let's do that. Uh, who wants to be a Negro heir? Dima, shall we? So what did Robin Gibbons do with that $10 million? Did she A, trick it off, B, buy sandals, C, weaves, D, spend it on white men, or E, all of the above? Jeopardy music! And the answer is E, all of the above. That's the problem. You spent that money, you tricked it off. Your career didn't go anywhere. You never became any kind of film producer or anything. You didn't do anything with it. You lost the money. And he was right to call you a charlatan. You have been exposed for lying. And he just can't stop talking about the guy. But you know what, Robin, let me tell you something. From me to you, three words. Get over it. Guys, it's your boy. Oh, Shay Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode uh, 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 of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe, hit the bell. I really appreciate you for all that you do guys i thank you so much for supporting the channel i thank you so much for commenting don't forget to um subscribe and hit the bell check out uh you know everything that we have here below and guys uh check out the patreon the black men perf t-shirts guys thank you for everything you're doing and as you know the buffoonery remains at an all-time high i am out Thank you.